And you know, you got chicken some pork and belly and a waffle. Yeah, and I mean, pull it back in. I'll call fried it chicken unique. and pork is what we sell <laughs> mostly. I'll you know? call it's it like, unique but accessible. God knows what this one's going to turn yeah, out. This has been the most loose, like yeah, the loose interview we've done. A good restaurant should mirror the personality of its chef. Love Handles Food is a creative, energetic, unique blend of comfort foods that could best be described as truck stop food on steroids. This is food that will fix any hangover. Trust me. The personalities responsible for this unique mishmash of comfort food are chef and owner Chris Benedict and co-chef Derek Knoll. Chris's wife and co-owner Allie is the sanity that keeps the train on the rails while supplying killer baked goods. Get back of house, sat down with Chris, Derek, and front of house manager Aaron Friedrich for a haphazard, unfiltered discussion about what makes Love Handle worth visiting. I don't want your, I don't want your meat juice. Dude, that was the only, <laughs> dude, for three years, quote, the only, quote, quote dude, for year. three years, the only way you could get an egg <laughs> from Love Handle, if it was, Hand, was, if it was Wait, in, you only did jelly eggs? Yes. And it was like and the you only- made money? Yeah, oh yeah. And it you was like- You bought that? Yeah, yeah, I got the restaurant over here then afterwards. Where'd you learn to cook? Maybe like from my mom originally, and then um, then just like worked in different restaurants forever. And then, so I can't tell you how often I hear that, you know, yeah. a lot of chefs started cooking with their mom or yeah. whatever. What's the first thing you remember cooking with her? Probably making like, making like big sandwiches for school. Remember like making your own yeah. lunch for school yeah. and then like I'd be like, I want to make that own lunch and then pouring like a shitload of like Italian dressing or something on a sub. Did she put an egg on it? No, 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 <laughs> egg, no eggs in there. Chris, you formally trained or are you uh, uh, on the I job trained? I formally train? trained, but hopefully future really trained. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In the middle, you know, it's a little bit iffy. No, By the I, way, we forgot to cheers this tradition yeah. here. We got to hit that. Yeah. All right. The vibe I get from you guys is like, you know, you got some cores that you stick to, and then you throw out some inspirational vibes each week or whatever. Yeah. You're like, you know, hey, let's do this, man. Yeah. 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 I feel like we got like, we get like a couple of dead weeks where we're all like, we're all like, what is this? You know, and then like, and then this it'll be like. This is fine, we're doing it. Yeah, and then, yeah. And then it'll be like, dude, so this week we're. <laughs> Dude, I think it's a good idea to do like uh, you know, everyone's gonna do a ham sandwich of their own. <laughs> you know, it's like all goofy. And yeah. then then we get all stoked up. Kinda what's your favorite thing on the menu? Well one stuff out of like the rotisserie on like a Friday and it's like really cranking or something, and you're just like slicing down on like say like a shitload of pork bellies or something, and somebody's like, you're like, ooh yeah, that's gonna like be good. You know what I mean? And you're like, ooh, that looks good. And then you like you hit it with a fuckload of salt, and you got the eggs like all nice, and you're like, oh shit! I mean, that's gonna be what somebody wants. Okay, Derek, favorite thing on the menu right now? I'd say the pork belly sandwich is really great. Oh which yeah. Which is uh, got the the spicy carrot salsa, which is amazing. We always have that, and the and Chris's mom's pickled tomatillos. <laughs> Aaron, your favorite thing on the menu currently? So right now it's probably the three cheese jalapeno grits with brisket and an egg on it. Ooh, you like what you do, you like what you're making, and you make stuff you like, and uh, it, it just it translates well. Fluid, so even if it's not right, <laughs> next week you don't who's put it to on the say menu. That's yeah, not right. yeah, yeah. We never said this was right, so who's not to say this? Hey, next we're okay to fall right. off the jungle gym. It's always sick food, man. It's yeah. uh, you guys definitely knock it out of the park. You got a secret to your gravy? Um, I, well, we just wrote a recipe for it about a week ago, so it used to just be like, for years, just like do whatever. A little uh, bit of this, a little bit of that. Yeah, and I feel like, I feel like now it's like apple juice in the sausage. So instead of like doing vinegar and water or anything with the sausage, pour apple juice in instead. And I feel like so that's, that's your secret. If there's gotta you be a secret, that's gonna, that's yeah, gonna be like, out there. Yeah, man. I feel like yeah, yeah. Who's responsible for the decor? Allie had a lot to do with the, yeah. like, beginning. Yeah. So Allie's Chris's wife, yeah. big behind the scenes, responsible for a lot of the baking aspect all the, of it. All the sweets. All, all the sweets. All, all, yeah. Which, yeah. she's way smarter than all of us. Uh, which is why she true. chose. I was gonna <laughs> say, why she, 
Which is I why she was say, smart not to be here today. We the take best IQ cook, Ar yeah. arguably the best. Like the person. best, like cook yeah. in general here. In general, yeah. too. But I didn't want to be rude to you guys. But it's then true. you said the smart thing. So. Uh, what do you see uh, Love Handle going over the next few years? Man, I wish I could know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like we are, we're like, uh, I see more money. <laughs> like, I see like everyone making. So, <laughs> all right, well, so let's work into that. Uh, yeah, I mean, bottle fuck. works open across the street, right? This is Has that been a plus this or a minus for you guys? Oh, fucking plus, dude. Yeah, more like, people in... Not a ton more people, but it's been enough more people. Yeah, the difference about this food is it's very honest food, yeah. and every week it seems like there's a little something different on the menu, whether it's one of Derek's, you know, burgers that he doesn't remember. Yeah, yeah. Um, that could be the name of, like, a burger <laughs> yeah. Derek will it's forget. It's all you know, yeah. You're welcome. Yeah. You know, or something that Chris puts an egg on. All right, well, appreciate you guys. All right, cheers, cheers to y'all. All right, man. All right, cheers. keep bringing the food. Yeah. And uh, cheers. Dude, it you was like, me. you get the <laughs> egg, and it was a jelly the egg, and you could put it on the fucking biscuits and gravy. Was, and they were all we're vegetarian like, biscuits and gravy, yeah. too. Yeah. That's what's the, fucked up. Oh, the only I, when I, sausage which is, I know! Yeah. And it, like took, like, years it took like two years. It took like two years! We didn't start doing sausage here <laughs> until like after a while years. when yeah. I was here. Yeah. I swear it was like It was like the weird biscuits and gravy, and once in a while. All right, we'll start doing sausage, Dude, now we're basic as fuck.